Hey everybody, Rifter here, and today I'm going to talk about how to optimize TF2 for low settings and just some extra things that you might want to activate or that maybe you ha don't know about that might improve your gameplay a little bit, make things run a little bit smoother, a little bit easier for you to play. Now, this is just the things that I found myself. I haven't done any extra research or anything like that as far as this goes. So this is just the things that I've come to find that helps me a lot. Um, mouse acceleration. Let's we'll start there. You do not want this on. Straight up, I'm sorry, I don't care who you are, you do not want mouse acceleration on. Basically what that means is that when you drag your mouse, the more you drag it, the faster it goes. It, basically that's the way that I understand it. You do not want that. Um, I have it set to raw input because I like it to be on what I have for my computer. You can also change your sensitivity. Um, you can reverse mouse. I don't know why you would ever do that, aside from to do it for a funny video. I might actually have to do that for a video. Um, and that's a pr pretty much it for mouse. Obviously, audio, and my background looks different, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I have a different HUD. Um, that's why my screen looks different than yours, but the options section is still the same. So audio here, you can change your game volume, your music volume. I don't like to have music. I like my game volume to be super low. I find that TF2 especially has super loud game volume, so I, I can keep it there, and it's like plenty loud for me. Just It's the same as you see in the rest of my videos. Um, now here's where we can start getting into the quality of life. If you have an older computer, maybe a PC that can't you know run up to the today's graphics and things like that these things will help you improve your basically your lag as it were in the game so sound quality i have it at medium I, I like to have just reasonable sound quality my ears aren't super good anyway i can't really tell the difference to be completely honest with you so it doesn't really matter for me for recording captioning you can put subtitles on for different dialogues and things like that but that's not going to help your performance there's no way that it's going to be um and you can also silence the audio while the game window is in the background. So if you alt-tab out, it silences the audio. Um, now video stuff. Now this is the stuff that I'm really interested in. So display mode, um, if you run it in window mode, it tends to be a little easier to switch in and out of stuff. If your game crashes a lot, this is a really good mode to run it in, but you're not gonna really have that good immersive experience that you want. It's not really something that I would ever want to run, but if you need to run it to run the game, then that's where you find it. you can run it in a windowed mode so that if it crashes a lot or things like that you it this this helps this will make it better um, you can adjust brightness levels too um, but that's completely up to you aspect ratio honestly my my thing with resolution is that I just recommend that you make it whatever it is that your actual monitor screen is that's gonna prevent your monitor and the game from having to like have some sort of transition I guess in the way that it works I don't know how to like explain that it makes sense in my head but basically try and run it at whatever your computer is that's that's gonna be what you want even if like you're you're trying to like optimize as most as much as possible I, I seriously I just recommend that you run it at the resolution that it's supposed to be run at it's just especially for a game like TF2 it's like a shooter game a shooter I use air quotes it's it's a different kind of game all of itself, but that's pretty much what you want to use. You want to, and same thing with aspect ratio. You want to use whatever it is that your monitor is using. Um, so on to advanced. Now this is the stuff that's really, really going to help. Um, and I even just run most of this stuff on medium. My shadow quality is on high just because it's something that I really appreciate for some reason. I really like love the shadows and the way that they interact. And I find that sometimes it even helps me get that extra 0.25 of a second when someone's jumping around a corner at me. Um, so all this stuff you can lower, texture detail you can put on low, shadow detail you can put on low, model detail on low, all this stuff, simple reflections will help as well on the water, things like that. All of that's going to help your game because all of that is less stuff that your computer has to process from the server every time you get into a game. Um, Anti-analyzing, I honestly don't know what this does, so I just have it on none. And that's the little star thing that you see there is just what it recommends for you for your PC when you first render into the game or you render into the game. When you first go into the game. Filtering mode, again, I don't know what that is. Mine says trilinear, that's what I'm having on. Uh, vertical sync, you want that off for sure. Multicore rendering, don't know what that is. Motion blur, you want this disabled. Oh my gosh, you want this disabled. Every time, I don't know in what situation, Leave. let me know in the comments a situation where you would enable motion blur, please. Field of view, this is a huge one for new players. Huge one. This is massive. If, if you don't take anything else away from the, if you're like, nah, fuck this guy. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Turn your field of view up to 90. You're going to see more of what's in front of you and around you. Imagine if like, 
imagine like you had you had binoculars on, right? You you're playing with binoculars on when you're at 75. You take those binoculars off, bam, 90, bam, just like that. You it's it's like taking off glasses, taking off binoculars. You want that off. Full dynamic range. I actually don't know what this is, but mine's recommended on full, so maybe I'll just change that. I think it has something to do with the bloom or something like that. So we're gonna change that. Like, like it says right there, settings recommended for your system. I'm actually gonna change that because that's just what it recommends and I don't know what it does. So we'll see what happens when I do that. On to the advanced stuff. Hopefully this video is not too long. Automatically reroll weapons when you're not firing. I have this on and honestly, it's super, super helpful. It's one less button you have to press. Like. Even if you're like, oh no, I can press the reload button myself. Like, it's really good to have on. It just, it saves you so much time and effort. The only time where this sucks to have on that I find is when I'm using, when I'm playing Spy and I have the revolver. And it's like, because that just, that revolving, like reloading animation interferes with me shooting. I don't know what it is mentally, but it like really like messes with me. All the other animations are quicker or faster to me and it doesn't, it's not as big of a deal for me if the other any other weapon in the game is reloading um, So that's the only one that I turn it off for um, I just got like a phone call. I'm gonna pause it for now. We're gonna finish this video um, Fast weapon switching. This is something you definitely want on that means that when you press one two three four And you're switching to those different items. You don't have to press them twice So if you automatically just know oh my primary weapon is one my secondary is two and my melee is three and then obviously that changes from engineer and spy and different things like that. You can change those, but you want fast weapon switch on. Um, you probably want play a hit sound every time you injure an enemy. I suppose you could turn it off and it might help with your um, ping a little bit. Not ping, but like, you know what I mean, your um, just your lag because it's less things that the game has to do. And you can also edit all your hit sounds. I like having the squasher. I think that sounds cool. And then you can even add a hit sound that changes. So like when an enemy actually dies, it's a different hit sound. Um, you can display damage done as text over your target. I would assume that turning this down would also help with your lag if you were having a lot of it. Um, and you can also have it accumulate. That means that like you hit someone once, it says like 17 damage, and then you hit it again and it says 30. That means that you did an extra 13 damage to them. So it's just 17 plus 13, you did 30 damage in total over an accumulation, essentially. Um, uh, to, to do play a sound when the sniper rifle is fully charged. I just have that on. Um, if you have this right here, like remember the active weapon between lives, that means that if you die holding the medigun, gun, which is your second, you'll when you respawn you'll also be holding the medigun which is your second you can turn this on and off i just have it off it doesn't really ma matter to me that much um let's see did you uh, spy is an ultra menu that requires most key pressing this keys number one through four um that's something you can do with spy i haven't really played around with it it's not really something that i'm like into um if you're a big medic like i am having this on is essential because this means that you're not holding down mouse one all the time. It means that you can click on a target, it will start being healed, and then that is it. And then you can like you can fire and forget, you will continue to heal, you can look around, you can let go of your mouse one key, it will continue to heal that target. Um, and then you want the, you want this on too so that you know what your like the player that you're healing is at and like how they are doing. Um, and this is also really helpful. They automatically call out at a certain amount of health. So for me, 50% health, people call out for healing because that means that they're at a place where if I arrow them, they're going to get a max amount of help from me anywhere that they're at on the map, even if they're not paying attention or they're not looking for me. Here's some other great quality of life game things. Enabling minimal HUD, um, that basically, it makes your HUD smaller. So um, it condenses it down. That way you, ha you can see more of what's in front of you. And like this, things like the health bar and the ammo thing are taking up less space. Um, all the rest of this, I wouldn't really worry about. This, if you have this on, it's going to show your actual player model, player model, like what your like what your character actually looks like, like with its hats on and all that kind of stuff. This will probably not help at all with your ping or your lag, as it were. So you want this off if you're having that kind of an issue. Um, aside from that, you pretty much just want, uh, there's one other thing you want to disable weather, weather effects. And the last thing that you definitely want to make sure you have checked 
you if disabling sprays will help immensely um uh do, 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 and using minimal vi minimalized view models this will i honestly even if you're not having lag issues you want this on it's going to make your weapon smaller especially if you use things like the minigun the rocket launcher the uh scout scatter gun um spy pistols spy stabber things i'm gonna list every single weapon in the game and say that this is nice to have checked with those weapons um as far as that for me that's pretty much it if you want to add a hud which will sort of change um like it changes the way that your game looks like it changes this intro screen for me and it changes everything in the background for everyone else if you want all of that stuff um there's other videos that will show you guys how to do that and another thing that will severely help if you're having lag problems is turning um ragdolls off so that means that when someone dies their body just disappears instantly instead of flying around halfway across the map and causing you to have to render more things that are happening in the game so those are both things that you can also turn off i'll link videos to those in the description down below thank you so much for watching guys peace out i'll see you in the next video